Amber Feely from New York, and I chose Nishmat because I really I wanted a special year. I wanted to be in Israel, but really part of Israel. I didn't want to just be an outsider in it, and I think I've gotten that and so much more to be able to be in Dirot with Israeli girls and get to be part of the Israeli culture and not just feel like I'm someone on the outside of it. And then of course there's the learning itself, which I had been told was good and I had hoped would be good and was so much more than I could have imagined. But learning is incredible. There are so many amazing gifted teachers in this school and so many people with so much to share. And like, sometimes I just go through class after class having my mind blown. And it could be something, it could be a Mishnah that I've learned in school already before three different times and thought I have nothing more to learn. And I walk out with a brand new look on it and a brand new take on it and it's unbelievable. I mean, there's, there's even the little things like We'll be cooking di dinner together and we'll make shakshuka and I've never heard of that before in my life and suddenly I'm cooking it like an Israeli with the Israelis and just speaking Hebrew around the Jira and going to Israelis' houses for Shabbat. I'm not just at strangers' houses for Shabbat, I can go to my Chavruta's house for Shabbat. I've been there twice, my mom makes good food. and being able to see so many different homes of theirs. I think one of the funniest moments for me was I was playing a card game with one of them and we were just counting our cards and in my in my head I was counting up the points and I was just counting Hebrew. I was going and and then all of a sudden I'm like wait it's just in my head but I'm talking Hebrew and it was a it was a pretty funny moment for me. There's a lot of chaburas that happen, learning groups that are beyond the class time, and I had been told about a lot of them that were after class at night. And I was like, um, I don't think I'm gonna be prepared to learn again after 11 o'clock at night, it's not happening. And my teacher told me about this Parsha chabura that was every night and that they go on talking about the Parsha of Shavua till one o'clock in the morning. And I was like, not happening. But I actually decided to try it and it turns out to be my favorite Chavura, and I do learn Parsha Shavua at one o'clock in the morning every week, and I look forward to it every single time. And it's always new and exciting things, and it's something that I thought I would never want to do and never be excited to do, and I find myself looking forward to it every week and not even looking at the clock as we just keep going on and talking about things in whole new lights.